Yeah, hi, good evening, everybody. So, I just spent the last hour, that's 10.18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, watching the presidential debates. And I have to say that um, I'm really disappointed. I'm really disappointed. I just, I think of the word presidential. And I think to myself, what, is, what does that word mean? And the, the words that I associate with the word presidential are words like grace, dignity, poise, courage under fire, being able to operate under pressure, selflessness, putting others ahead of yourself. And <clears throat> unfortunately, I didn't see too much of that in this debate, and I haven't seen too much of that throughout this presidential race. When Nas and I started this project, he asked me, he said, Justin, try not to talk about things that are too divisive. Well, you know, I can't not share about what I just saw happen. Um, it's shocking to me. And the reason that it's shocking is that so many people have been deceived by both of these groups. One's blue, one's red, one's Democrat, one's Republican. They all just have each other's interests in mind. There's nothing else to say. I mean, why do you tune into this channel? You tune into this channel because part of you believes, some of you believe, that what Nas and I are attempting to do is tell people the truth, at least as far as we see it, to try to help young people get along in the 21st century. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you what to believe politically, who to vote for, what you should think. What I want you to see is I want you to look at my face. I want you to look at the lines in my forehead. I want you to look at the furrow in my brow. I want you to look at the gray in the side of my head. I want you to look at my beard. I want you to look at my age, my home behind me. All these things that I've worked to achieve, my wife has worked to achieve. And I want you to realize that one of the people speaking to you right now are one of the people that Hillary or Donald Trump are supposed to stand for. And I'm sitting here telling you, with a wife upstairs who's going to sleep, who has her doctoral degree, and a master's and a bachelor's, and I have my master's and a bachelor's and a business, and she has a university job, we don't believe in either of them. Neither of them are acceptable leaders for the 21st century. And the specific reason, the main reason, is that they're not for others. They're just for themselves. And it's a hundred thousand billion million percent apparent by watching this debate. That was like watching two 16-year-olds argue. I feel ashamed to be an American today. I seriously do. I feel, I feel completely ashamed to be an American. I feel It makes me feel so tired that all the things that my wife and I worked for, my family worked for, that one of these two is going to represent us. I, I want to tell you on this channel, they don't represent me. And the reason I tell you that is because I, I, I'm, we're, we're getting some views and you guys are enjoying this. And maybe some of you are from different countries. And I want you to keep watching. <laughs> I want you to keep believing. And I, 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 I want to separate myself from the two people who purport to be my president. <clears throat> Neither of them are my president. In fact, a friend of mine just texted me. Uh, a friend of mine who has his uh, master's in um, 
international relations from George Washington, and he texted me and he said, who are you going to vote for? And I texted back and I said, Mickey Mouse. And he texted back and he said, I think I'll vote for Goofy. So I'm going to close off the video now. And what I want to do is just kind of like a little ceremony type thing here. I got this candle that I'm going to light. And there's the candle. And the reason I've lit this candle is because I just want to light this candle sort of in a form of prayer for the world, for the young people in it, for the United States of America. We all deserve far better than what we were shown tonight on television. Far better human beings, more integrity, more responsibility, more openness, more honesty, more truth, more justice, and more collaboration under the spirit of fellowship for all mankind because our planet's in a lot of trouble. And we don't have Hillary and Donald talking about a planet in trouble. We have Hillary and Donald talking about Hillary and Donald. So this candle goes out for all of us. And it's my greatest prayer, my greatest wish that the people my age and the people younger than us, that we learn from a night like tonight and realize that we have to do a much better job than what our forebears have constructed up to this point. This is not acceptable. It's not presidential. It's not okay. Nothing about it's okay. So, may the God of your understanding bless you tonight, wherever you are. And keep your peace tonight. Don't worry. Because past these next few years in American history, there are lots and lots of good things to come. I have a lot of faith in the people my age here, in their 30s, in their 40s, to do the right thing, to learn from these people who have just trashed my nation's reputation, trashed our education system, trashed our military trashed our prison system, trashed our financial system, who have just completely wrecked everything. And, you know, Nas, I'm sorry, buddy. You told me not to talk about this stuff, man, but I can't comply with that request tonight. So thank you, everybody, for listening. Best wishes. And if you do leave a comment in the comment section, I'd encourage you to leave something hopeful. We don't need more of the same. The Democrats are like this. The Republicans are like that. It's all been said a million times. Bring your hope, bring your dreams, bring your possibilities for a better future to our comments section and leave the things of the old ways behind. Thanks so much and have a great night.